All right, we are sewing in some hand-tied webs from Valerie. We actually have construction going on at the salon, so sorry about the noise. So I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that I did just for while we're sewing. Okay, so I I put a bead on the strings so that the, str the I know my ends are all gonna be flush together right there. And then now I clipped these. I'm gonna put these little clips in while I'm getting everything to go. And then I'm gonna come around, I'm just gonna come around with each of them. And I'm gonna clip on this other side. Free Lainey said, hey lady. Hey. Someone else said, genius. Thank you. I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> huh? Okay, so I'm just gonna clip all three. Okay, and I want the blonde to be, I'm, I'm clipping this middle color. Oh yeah, so we're mixing white blonde with the BCC 80. We would have preferred the R360, but it's not available yet. But that's okay, because we don't mind to improvise, okay? Cassidy said, hi my booze, hi Cass. Hey Cass, love you. Looks amazing, love watching you work. Okay, so then now I'm gonna put my third row up and I'm gonna do big clips on all three. Okay, and now I'm gonna take little clips and just make sure I have all three wax while I'm clipping so that they're together, okay? Extension Daddy said, yes, I love mixing colors or layering colors and then I love your work, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> I love you, Daddy. Okay. <laughs> Why would you use this weft over the machine weft? Like, when would you use this instead? Okay, so, perfect question. So, this is for people that have really fine hair. My guest here has really fine hair. The seam on these wefts is so teeny weeny. So, if you... Uh, So here is, so here's one of her old wefts, okay? This is the volume wefts, see the seam is a lot thicker. Okay, then look how thin this one is compared to that. You guys see that? So you suggest hand type for fine hair clients? Yeah, really, really fine hair. Or like if you need to mix colors like this, it's great for mixing colors or, um, yeah. Hey, I've been watching your videos and lives. I love your work. Thank you so much. Hi, love your work and technique. Love from the Netherlands. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. I love your work so much. Thank you. Can you cut these to size? No, you cannot cut these. You have to fold them or glue them. So if you're gonna need to like customize the length I would suggest using um the machine okay so I'm gonna just go and start sewing so I'm gonna first go in I'm gonna start on this third bead in and I'm gonna go through all three okay and I'm just gonna go through and I'm you doubled my string okay so I can make this knot So now at the top, I'm gonna make this little knot, okay? And then I'm gonna tuck that behind when we're done. Okay, and I'm just gonna put that up there so it's out of my way. Okay, and then now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that guy off, okay? And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sew backwards toward my toward my um, anchor. Okay, you have more questions. 
So this would be perfect for someone who also has thin edges. Yes. Can thick hair still wear hand tied? How many wefts per row would you recommend? Yeah, so you can wear hand tied if you have really thick hair. However, if you're gonna be layering, like I wouldn't layer more than like four of these on one row. So like if you're gonna be layering more than that, then you might as well just get a volume weft and it'll be flatter. When you start layering too many is when it's not as flat. I missed the initial attachment. Did you secure a bead there? I just put this bead here because I wanted to ensure that my wefts all, because I have three of them layered here. So I wanted to make sure that all of them were like secure there together. You answered this next question with your last answer, but since you have to stack them, wouldn't it be the same thickness as a volume at that point? Exactly. But not this one because the seam is so fine. It's hard to explain. If you did four wefts, it would be the same thickness as the volume, I feel like. But if you're just doing three or two or one, it's like, like one row of this weft is like literally, you can't even feel it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do another slip knot. What extensions are you using? Bellamy, these are Bellamy. These are the new Bellamy hand tight extension lunge. How long does it take you to do a full row? Like 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes. Are you sewing through the bead? No. Okay, and then now I'm just going to go back through, but doing regular stitches now. Regular closed blanket stitches. How many grams come in one pack? Is it equal to the volume wefts or would you need two packs of hair no, for a full head? you need two packs of hand tied wefts to equal a volume weft. So um, these are gonna be more expensive and they're more time consuming so you should be charging more to install them. Anyway. That's a great idea to put the bead at the end to keep the eight hand tied weft lined up together. Thank Check. you. Do you ever color extensions after application or before? I color them both before and after. And we're probably going to shadow root this once we um, are able to, because right now, if you guys start hearing construction, it's they're installing new shampoo bowls at our salon. So thank you to our owner. We love you. We love a good new shampoo bowl. You know what I'm saying? When you color the extensions, how much do you charge per row? I mean, that's, um, that's like an open-ended question. Everything's different, you know? Mm -hmm. I charge whatever I would charge to color someone's hair. Um, hi from the Houston hairdresser. Thank you for all the free Instagram educational posts and videos. You are the best. Much love. Thank you. And you're welcome. Oh, and we filmed earlier for... So with my private online education, I have a private Instagram page that we post a lot more on. And um, so we filmed her, her bottom row, we hit the beads. So we have a video of that coming out on my private Instagram page. Do you have any suggestions of what to charge for a full head of these? I know Bellamy has a recommendation in the book we received during the class. Should I DM you for a price question mark? So you're gonna do the same thing as the book suggests so whatever you i want to say cat said um because we just i was just teaching a cat in chicago and she was saying to charge because it's like two it's two what you would charge uh, i don't know how to word it so like whatever it says in the book to charge for a, a volume left for the install, you're gonna do twice that. If you do two packs of the hand type. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that initial bead is only on the strings of each weft. Do you take it out after or just leave it? No, I'm gonna take it out, yeah. And I'm gonna cut those strings off. I just put it there to like, kind of be like a little safety. Because the, the thing about the hand ties that makes it take so much longer to put in is you're literally like sewing all three of these together on like the volume wefts. You know, the volume wefts are layered together, um, pre-layered. That's one, one of the things I love about them. And um, so you can't, 
you have to make sure that they not only stay layered and you keep catching all three, but you also have to make sure that they stay nice and taut at the same tautness. Tension? Taunt? <laughs> tautness. Ta <laughs> hey. Cameron J. Holly. Hi, oh, love you. Cameron, we love you. Hi, Cam. Also, since this is hand tied, could your clients possibly go eight to ten weeks with no maintenance? No. Heck no. I would never recommend eight to ten weeks, especially someone with fine hair like this. And especially with this girl, she'd be like, she would be at my house. Yes, I would. <laughs> no, I recommend every five weeks. I don't recommend going over five weeks at all because it's just, why would you, you know? You're like, I get new hair every eight to ten weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Is there a piece of her hair inside that bead? No. <clears throat> no, I just put the bead on before I started. I put it on these three strings because I lined up all three of my wefts to make sure when I get to the end. Oh, oh, Because I don't want to get to the end and then they're all uneven. Or when I'm starting, it just made it a lot easier and faster for me to just even get started. And okay, so still following the same Bellamy rules, you would still be doing a move up with the hand tied? Yes. Exactly. Oh, I like that. The bounty rule. Extension Daddy said, give it that pinch. I don't know what he was referring to, though. So, <laughs> you want me to pinch Sarah? I'll do it. Ooh, the bead trick is such a good idea. Thank you. So the reason why it does take longer too is because you're constantly checking, constantly making sure. Like you can't just assume it's all good the whole time and then you get to the end and like you missed one of the wefts the whole time, you know? You always want to be checking, making sure they're nice and flush together oh. and level. Okay. What size beads do you recommend for hand tied? Um, the same, it's, it's the same. There's not that much different. It's just like you have to keep all of the wefts together. You can't cut them. And then the way we do the anchor is just a little bit different. Extension Daddy was referring to pinching the wefts together when pin when stitching. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Beautiful. Flawless. What do you do when the wefts aren't the exact same width? Um, then you would just sew. I mean, it's hard to explain. You would just keep sewing over the one that... Like when the one stopped, you'd keep sewing, but then I'll sew like where there isn't hair, just so that they keep them sewn together. I'll make a video. It's too complicated. <laughs> Don't know if you already went over this, but will you be leaving the bead attached on the end as a finished install, or will it be removed when you're done sewing? I will be removing that bead. Where are you located? Ann Arbor, Michigan. Go blue. Go blue. Home of the University of Michigan Wolverines. Wolverines. I'm like, I think that's our She's like, no. Sarah's like, go bears. <laughs> go Frenchies. <laughs> I'm considering getting WBR certified. I love the support from Bellamy so much. Yeah, I, I love WBR too. If she was due for a partial highlight, would you highlight her prior to the install or after? Um, probably before. And we're gonna be teaching all of this and more in our master class for Bellamy. So if you haven't taken the Bellamy class, you honestly really should like i don't know why you wouldn't if you want to do extensions but you should take the class and um if you do sign up for the class i have a code that you can use for a discount it's sarah page mc
like the letter M, the letter C, or M C? Like the letter M, the letter C. Okay. Sarah Page MC, and I put it in the comments. Does Bellamy offer an online course? No. Uh -huh. Not yet. What? E Extension Daddy bought a badge. Thank you. I think you should marry Sarah. I think so too. Okay, here, you wanna come on this side for this anchor? I would love to. Okay. Amanda gets a little excited about the comments. I do. <laughs> Okay, hang on, my string's getting a little twisty. Your work is beautiful, those nails too. Thank you. you if we already took the Bellamy certified, is there a way to take a class on hand tied separately? Yeah, I believe, I don't know the exact answer. I know they're doing something for it, so hold tight. What do you do with the string at the end of the weft when you're done sewing? Cut it off. Okay, so now I'm on my ending anchor. If we have taken the Bellamy class already, can we sit on a class again for free for the new techniques being added, like hand tied? Oh, D Beck just bought a badge. I don't know. Hey. No, we didn't. Oh, <laughs> oh but someone else did. Jeannie. Jeannie. Thank you, Jeannie. Aw. Uh -huh. So sweet. Thanks for the support, you guys. I really appreciate it. I gotta find a way to pay this one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Do you want me to work or <laughs> you, only get, you, only, you only get paid in badges? You're doing great, boo. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're idiots. Okay, I'm just gonna cut these little guys off. And you can like knot these again. If you uh, take these apart and then cut or knot them again. What? Sorry, I can't pronounce your last name. Danny bought a badge. The Houston hairdresser bought a badge. Aw, uh, uh, thank you. You but, used to deconstruct the volume webs for fine hair. Now will you use the hand tie instead? Or yes. is there more hair on a single deconstructed volume web? No, they're this. I feel like they're the same. I think they're pretty much the same. If I'm going to be deconstructing, oh. I probably would use the the hand ties. Yes. What? Why did you get? Danny's say? name's Daniela. Oh, Danielle. You're welcome. We love you and your work. Aw, you guys are really nice to her. I know. You guys are just so sweet. Okay, so now that I'm on the end, okay, I'm going to make sure. I'm going to go across. Making sure I'm going through all three. And then I'm gonna go through. So see, instead of going through the loop, instead of going through the loop, I'm going through the loop on my string, okay? Would you still go with the hand tied instead of deconstructing the volume whip for the hidden bead method? <laughs> no, I would use the hand tied for the hidden bead method because it is insane how smooth and, um, what do you call it? Um, seamless? Seamless, yeah. And, and it's like so flat to the head. I think people are waiting for you to take off that bead on the end. That's <laughs> the biggest concern. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna do two of these. Then I'm going to go backtrack. Yeah, I gotta use my pliers. Two packs of hand tied are equal to one pack of volume lifts. Yes, correct. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know. Oh, I mean, to do this one another or not? Um, I don't know the exact grammage because I haven't memorized that yet. <laughs> but I will. Oh, I have it in my notes. Yeah, we have it. Do you want me? Oh, go ahead. Do you use nylon thread? Do you find it slips at all? 
No, I always use nylon thread and it does not slip. Okay, so now I'm just going back through these first couple beads or sections of the beads. And I, on these ones, I'm doing a slip knot every time. Is it, I think it's, I think I might be calling it on that. It's fine. Sorry for all the questions. No. Do you glue the ends of the strings you cut off? No, you don't need to glue those ones. Only if you cut the weft, do you need to glue it. But I wouldn't suggest cutting it. Okay, and then I have the length with the grams. So 14 inches would be 48, 16, 56, 18, 64, 20, 72, 22, 80, 24, 88. Wow. Okay, and then I'm just going to... Oh, thank you. You guys are the best. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this string. Yeah. I'm going to tie. Yeah, okay. Just for a little added security, okay? And I'm gonna tuck. Instead of tuck and roll, you're gonna tie and tuck. Okay. And there you have it. Oh wait, I gotta do the best part. Oh yeah. I'm gonna tuck this bad boy too. But look at that color. Isn't that color blend so beautiful? Why do you cut it versus, or I mean, why do you tug it versus cut it shorter? I just, I don't know. To me, I just worry about it coming undone. So I just have anxiety. And so I always overthink things. So. Beautiful. It's just my own um, yeah, mental I'm not sure how is. Yeah, see, it's like super flush to her head. You guys can see. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do it, you guys. Hang on, let me stay grab tuned my for the bead. Oh yeah, I'll use these ones. Pretty gold pliers. Okay. You guys ready for this? Yeah. How many rows are you doing on this client? Two. We are we're done. We just already did our first one this morning, but the first one's gonna be on my private Instagram page. I wish I lived in your state. Can you recommend anyone in California? Yeah, for to get it done or to learn from. Yeah, there's Chanel, there's Kat, there's Mario, there's Franco. I mean, I have like hundreds in California, I'm kidding, like, not hundreds, but I might tell like five people all the time. Alex, oh my God, Alex, he just moved out to California. What about a nape row? Would you fold the web? Yeah, yeah, so if you're gonna do a
If you guys want to see her bottom row, we did um, in 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 vid in vidin. I like it. In vidin, invisible and hidden. Okay, so she can wear her hair up. Oh, you can't see it. And then on this row too, we did the color blend different. So on the this bottom row, we did a dark one, a light one, and then a dark one. So see the difference. And then the top, we did a light one, a dark one, and then a light one. Yay, looks beautiful already. Send finished pics videos. Can yeah, it's on your story. And this one CC slash 80, that's one that um, Alex Kardashian. Oh, we should tag everybody for the California person. Well, we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.